Hello! In this video, we'll show you how to use the calendar element in WeWeb. So, in the Add um, menu, you can look for the calendar element and drag and drop it on your page. And once it's on your page, you can select it in the navig navigator on the canvas and you see it here. So, there are different design settings. You can change the default event color to yellow, for example. Uh, so, this one remains purple because um, because it is of the category sport. It's related to the category sport, which is related to this color here. And I'll explain a little bit um, uh, in a minute how to set this, this up. Uh, but basically you have different design settings. You can change the text, you can change the theme. So now it's green. Uh, you can change the default view to show by year um, or month or personally I like weeks. You can turn off the yours view and the year view, um, you know, what, whatever you prefer. And here you can set, you know, instead of showing increments of 30 minutes, you can switch to 60, for example. Um, you can hide weekends, you can show all the events a little bit differently. Um, you can basically play around with these settings and, and choose a preferred uh, style of calendar. Now, to actually so, show events on the calendar, um, you, you'll need to um, you'll need to add events here. So we've added, uh, we have some, by default, there are three events um, with a start date and end date, which you can see are formatted differently. Uh, so you have a few options to format the date, uh, to you know, send the date to, to WeWeb. Uh, see, we have start dates, end dates, we have, event, we have a title for each event. Uh, you could add a description if you want to. Um, and then you can, um, you can add a calendar ID and a category name. So the calendar ID would be, for example, um, if we added here calendars, which you can do manually or bind calendars, Let's first do it manually. It could be me, and that would be uh, that would be me, and then it could be my. You know, I could say the ID is colleague, and that would be for my colleague Q. So then we can display events from our both our calendars in, in on the same page. Uh, we could change show you know different colors so that it's more uh, readable. Um, let's see, that was a bit aggressive that. <laughs> the yellow blue uh, combination so um, yeah we can we can make reference to these calendars here uh, so let's say this is me that sports event is me um, this is um, my colleague actually oh and I chose yellow for him as well uh, for um, yeah oh yeah because it's I chose yellow here so let's change the default event color to um, great let's say um, and here we have a third event, the whole day event. Uh, so let's say that's also um, Q's whole day event. Uh, so that had work and if we wanted, we could add categories as well. We could add a work category, for example, uh, with a background color of orange. Let's say, uh, let, let's stay, stay very bright. Uh, and here, if we add the category name work, it will be, um, it will appear here. So this is all manual. Obviously it's not ideal. So let's bind, uh, these events to, um, to a collection we have. So we have three collections. We have a collection in Airtable with all our events. So let's add them here. Um, and then map out the start date, the end date, uh, the name of the event, and the uh, notes, the description of the events. Um, the calendar ID property is the ID here that I gave it here. And the category name property is uh, the name from my category here. And that really, you know, this is how I, I, I set up my, um, my list of events. I have my events here and then I refer to the, you know, I have the name from the category in the ID from the calendars that I have, but you, you know, you, you, it depends on how your data is structured, but keep in mind that, you know, you need a start date, an end date, a title, content, uh, like description. Um, if you're referring to someone's calendar in particular, it needs an ID, same if you're using categories. So we mapped out the events here. 
Now let's do the same for the categories. Get the data. And we're saying, okay, it needs a name. So the name is work. The color is, we have a background property here and we have text color here. And again, I have this information uh, right here. And finally, let's, uh, no, sorry, that was the, yeah, that was the calendar, the categories. And finally, let's map the calendars. Uh, we've got them here. And the ID uh, property is this one. It's the calendar ID. So it's not the Airtable ID, right? It's, it's the ID we gave uh, our calendar. And the reason for that is, you know, so we have our calendar ID here and we make reference to, to it here. So that's, uh, that's what I mean by that. Um, we give it a label and a color as well. And that's it. So um, that's how the calendar element works in WeWeb. One short last thing is you can actually change the language to display in French or Spanish or German.